I, I've known Deidre as a leader. And my question to her is that how would she describe herself now, uh, where she is, and um, what are the opportunities or experiences that you think was very important in your development as a leader? I think the different um, exposure to different cultures certainly helped uh, in my development as a leader. Certainly continuing education and certification, looking at um, high standards. I think uh, going for my doctorate uh, has made a tremendous impact on uh, my thought process, my look at things globally. I think I've always had a global vision, but it certainly enhanced that and it has opened the doors to different ways of thinking about uh, things and certainly different relationships, which have really enhanced, um, enhanced nursing and enhanced my contributions to nursing. And I always feel that I want to be able to give something back. So whether I am working in the role as an, ad, as an educator or as a leader, but the ability to do that. Um, I think the continuing education certainly, um, and you know, Mary Joy and I were in the same uh, cohort in our doctoral program. And I think those relationships that we have started with uh, the, the, our colleagues from, from CASE have been instrumental in our development and really enhanced the things that we do. Eye-opening in many ways and our mentors through the program. Sure, uh, I totally agree with you, Deidre. I know that we have attended so many conferences nationally and internationally, so I am excited to continue that journey with you. Do yes, you and hopefully to do more research. Yes. Do you want to share with the audience about the research um, that we have been doing since 2015 or 2014, I think? Yes, actually, I would love to. Uh, when we first started, uh, actually, it was our first semester in the doctoral program. We did a concept analysis, analysis on resilience. And um, I mean, I, I guess I always knew about resilience and I always thought of myself as being resilient. But the thing that was probably most interesting is we started the program and it was, I believe, the week after Superstorm Sandy. And many of us had hardships to endure. And in a way, uh, starting the program was good because you could focus on something that you could actually solve, whereas sometimes, you know, there are things that you can't immediately fix. Uh, but we, I got very much so, and I think our group got very much interested in, in the whole concept of resilience. And it started me really thinking about uh, not only my resilience, but resilience as nurses. And since then, we have started to do research. Um, we did some international research. We looked at resilience. We also looked at resilience and spirituality. And we have had the great opportunity to not only publish uh, about uh, resilience and to collaborate on um, book chapters um, about other topics as well, but to share it on an international level. And we early on learned the value of cultivating a resilient team and what we could do to, to foster resilience. And I do think that over the past um, two years, that was very, very helpful, all of that additional knowledge in terms of really helping to support our team members when we were enduring, with, enduring very challenging times. Uh, but yes, so to continue to do research um, and also to do international research, I think it's important was as we are more and more global, but to where there are so many things that we are alike in nursing, but yet different. And so really looking at that and, and tying in all of the other aspects that help to nurture resilience is something that I would like to continue my research on and certainly our collaboration uh, since we both have a strong interest in it and our other colleagues. <laughs> 